Over the next few weeks, tap rooms and beer bars across the country will be flooded with limited and highly sought after wet hop beers. Before I get into what makes these beers so special, we've come up to one of my favorite places in all of Chicagoland, the Chicago Botanic Gardens, where they grow hop plants for educational purposes. Hops are a climbing perennial related to cannabis that grow in specific regions of the world, most noticeably between the 46th and 48th parallel. For reference, that's the Pacific Northwest, Upper Midwest, Poland, Germany, Czech Republic, Slovenia, and parts of China. Hops are trained to grow up a trellis, growing as much as a foot a day until they reach up to 20 feet. In terms of brewing, we're interested in the cone-shaped flower of the hop plant. These flowers are packed with lupulin glands, holding acids and oils that add bitterness, head retention, flavor stability, along with a dizzying array of fruity, herbaceous, floral, earthy, and woody aromas and flavors, and inhibit the growth of beer spoiling bacteria. Hops are highly perishable, so when they're picked, they're immediately kilned on large beds of hot air. From there, they're often pelletized, which looks like this, helping to preserve their magic acids and oils. This is what most craft breweries use to hop their beers. Wet hop beers, on the other hand, are brewed with freshly picked hops from the hop harvest. They have not been dried or processed in any manner. Fresh hops degrade quickly, having roughly a 48-hour shelf life. The brewers attempt to get them from the farm to the brew kettle within 24 hours. On account of their limited availability and unique flavor profile, beers from across the country will log out of their Reddit subthreads, put down their hazy IPAs, and emerge from their parents' basements to hunt down and drink this fine nectar. It's the migration of the wilderness beers. We're here at Chicago Beer Institution, the map room, where I've spotted a couple wilder beards in the wild. By the looks at it, they're drinking Founders Harvest Ale, a 7.4% ABV IPA, 70 IBUs, brewed with hops uh, from local Michigan hop farms. Along with Founders Harvest Ale, we have two additional wet hop beers that we're excited about in our portfolio. Surly Wet, and Alter's Next Stop Wet Hop IPA that was brewed in collaboration with the museum at Lyle Station using some centennial hops that they grew on premise there. These beers are only gonna be around for a very limited time, so make sure you get out and try some. Alter's is gonna be tapped here at the map room on October 11th. Get after it, cheers.